It's the, the 1st of October, we're outside the Council of Europe. Juan Passarelli, tell us who you are in the world of Julian. Well, I, ten, no, 14 years ago, I met Julian and some of the WikiLeaks people in the context of the Iraq war laws. They were some of the documents that he was then uh, uh, persecuted for releasing. And I was hired to film him. And I became friends. I became friends with the people in WikiLeaks and I became friends with Julian. And I ended up working with him for for about 10 years up to 2018 when he was um, when he, his communication was cut out um, I, I, yeah so I filmed them I, I did cutting edge journalism with them we made tons of documentaries um, so I was one of the people that was very frequently in the embassy also a target of the CIA after the 2017 releases uh, when Mike Pompeo was looking into kidnapping Julian or even uh, constructing plan plans to murder him. People say assassination. I don't like the word assassination because it's murder. And that's what they wanted to do in the center of London to a journalist because they, he, he, ex he exposed them and embarrassed them. And he had the strength and the ability to actually put into words what the CIA was planning to do today inside the Council of Europe. I mean, speak to that part of his speech and to any other parts of his speech today that you can recall that really did show astounding guts from a man that we should we should be used to it by now, actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I, was, I was with him the day he did his last public speech. He did it inside the embassy. I constructed a little tiny television uh, uh, set so that he could broadcast himself to the world. So I was controlling the camera and the computer when he was speaking. After that speech, his internet got cut off. And that was, ja uh, uh, I think, January to March, something like that, 2018. So it's been six years. Nobody's heard anything from him. He was not allowed to speak. And where he spoke was to the judge saying that he was not a participant in his own trial because he was in the back of the courtroom being treated like some sort of war criminal. Um, he started this speech today saying, I am, not, I am not a free man today because the system worked. I am a free man beca because I uh, declared myself guilty of committing journalism, of... of uh, taking uh, information from a source and publishing information given to me by a source. And that's journalism. But also, it is a crime under the Espionage Act, which is completely um, opposite to the Constitution of the US and, and the First Amendment. Um, but as of now, journalists all over the world who decide to publish any US secrets would be extradited. The president is set. What do you think is going to happen with Mike Pompeo now that Julian has spoken on such a, a huge, I should say, and renowned platform? I mean, do, do you see some kind of uh, uh, some uh, kind the, of justice the coming? CIA, the CIA protects its own people. Um, he's he's been um, he's been sued by by the by uh, Julian's lawyers. Uh, because of, of espionage, they were spying on his on his lawyer. So, and uh, he's he's also been uh, asked formally by the by the Spanish courts to to um, to give a declaration uh, concerning the the, the coercion and uh, the co-optation of the of the security firm that uh, was guarding the embassy. UC Global. UC Global. Yes. So a private security firm. They, they started, um, um, they hired him basically. They paid a whole bunch of money through, through a, a Las Vegas magnet called Sheldon Adelson. You're talking about David Morales, the head of da that David Morales, company. yes. So, so basically they were, they were spying on him through, with cameras all throughout the embassy, secret microphones, laser microphones from across the, uh, the street and um, you were in the embassy while that was happening I was one of the targets yes are you part of that suit no I'm not okay I'm not 
I, it was uh, it was decided by the lawyers that it was better not to to have me. It's just legal strategy. But I am a, a target of them, and it is it is potential that I was also in the list of people that could be murdered uh, for for sus suspicion that I could have the Vault Seven documents, the CIA documents. Because um, it wasn't only they were not only targeting Julian; they were targeting his associates as well. Um, and several of my very close friends were definitely on that list. Julian is, is somebody that is so connected to to the world affairs. He understands that like not not many people the the complexities of the geopolitical system, um, and I think he understands that the that there the West is decaying. Uh, the, the the idea of this free democracy that that respects human rights. Is, is almost disappearing in front of our eyes, you know. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what Julian's future holds. I, I don't know what he's gonna do. But I'd be very surprised if we don't see uh, something impressive coming out of him that would help um, give us the popula the populations of the world power back to 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 put uh, our government into account. I mean, he, he's done it again, he's done it again and again. He's changed the world so many times. It's unbelievable. Some, some people want to change it once, he's done it several times. That fills me with hope. One last question, Juan, about the worldwide movement. And it was worldwide. Uh, it is a matter of degree, but it was throughout the world, the movement that freed Julian. Talk to that and, and to your part in it. I was just a filmmaker. Uh, and a journalist. Uh, um, I've had the pleasure of of meeting many, many supporters throughout um, throughout the world. Here in France, in London, in Germany, uh, people from the U.S. that uh, uh, had ma made a massive movement there, and the Latin American movement, uh, super solidarity. Um, I think people understand that when when the the messenger is the one prosecuted and not uh, the people who commit the crimes there's something absolutely wrong and um, I think that it a big part of the reason why Julian is free is is because of all the help and all the support from from people people like you all over the world uh, I mean I remember being in the embassy day and night and uh, every time of year, rain, uh, hail, uh, sun, whatever there was, there was always people outside supporting and asking for his freedom. And that didn't stop. That didn't stop until, until the day he was free.